Hi guys, welcome down to Improve My Golf TV and today we're bringing you a chipping video on how to strike the ball better. So at Trafford Golf Centre we do see a lot of golfers that are flicking as, as they come through impact and as they, as they come the left wrist starts to break and they're very wary of trying to hit the ball up into the air so they realise that they're really very close to the green. They've got loft in the hand and they want to hit the ball up into the air to stop it quicker. However, that sort of chip shot will encourage the leading edge to come in first where you can potentially thin it or top it or sometimes even you kind of catch the ground first if you release the club a little bit too early so today we're going to be looking at the angle of attack of the golf club into the ball and trying to keep the wrist in a bit more of a solid position that's right so as Matt Andy's just mentioned there the standard golfer is getting in this flicky position so then the left wrist is getting a cut position for the right-handed golfer for the left-handed the right hand gets in a cut position. So we have a nice drill, which is a, is a good indicator because it's related to feeling. It gives you results straight away. It lets you know if you've done the movement correct. So Andy's gonna kindly demonstrate for us. We've got, we've got a few options. First of all, we've got an alignment stick in place. If you haven't got an alignment stick, don't worry, we'll show you the second option in a minute. So what he's done is he's got, is this a 56, 60 degree? 54, yeah. So he's got his 54 degree in play. He's put the alignment stick virtually about at least halfway down the club. So then he's, he's got that now going up through his left side. So he's gonna, he's gonna grip over the top of the grip and the alignment stick. He's getting in perfect position. So as before, weight is going on the left hand side of the foot. Look at his hand position first of all. You know, I see a lot of golfers, they'll have their hands forward. Uh, backwards so as you can see straight away the alignment stick saying no no that's wrong okay so that foot of the club is going round to the left groin left thigh so straight away we know the setup position is correct and then what it's also going to let us know is when we do the movement if we do it correct we're not going to hit our left side as you can see from Andy there whereas if Andy's going to do a flicking motion there you go straight away <laughs> Straight away, the alignment stick is hitting him on his left side, the left ribs, and that's just letting him know we're doing the movement wrong. So let's show in slow motion, show a movement where we're doing it correct. Good, so you can hear the strike there. He's caught the foot of the face rather than the leading edge. Impact position's good. Also as well, as you're coming through impact, just kind of keeping the hands out away from the body. And also, if you draw a line down your left arm, that club head should still be behind it at this point as well. That's so we're keeping the hands coming through impact. But also, that it's, it's the, from the, alignment the feeling it? like the left wrist gets bowed to, to a certain extent, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. It stays ahead. Good. And it hits down on the ball as well, so the angle of attack is steeper, so we're still hitting down, which with this amount of loft on the club, will hit the ball up into the air. Yeah. So, as mentioned, if you haven't got an alignment stick, there's another solution. You just get a mid, mid iron, or so we've got an eight iron here. Sandy's so gonna do the same thing. He's gonna place it along the grip. So now he's gripping on both grips. A bit harder, this. It is harder, there's a bit more weight into it. So, I didn't ask Andy this before, but now we'll ask him, because it's gonna hurt him a bit more. Do, do the wrong movement for us, please, Andy. I'll just do it slowly. <laughs> so now he's getting the club head hitting him in his left side. <laughs> Don't do that. Don't do that. Straight away, you know you're doing it wrong. Okay, let's 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 have a good movement. Very okay. heavy. <laughs> and again. Go get a lime stick, guys. <laughs> yeah, go back get a lime stick. Good. That's it. Nice, nice, nice and crisp strike. What's the feeling you're feeling, Andy? So, you can... so as we're coming back. There's always that little bit of a break in the wrists. Yeah. So what I also would say is, well, the, the, the left hand is already ahead of the club head. Now from this position, we're just kind of concentrating on trying to clear that left hip a little bit and just bring the arms through nice and solid. This is only a sh short chip shot. We don't need too much rotation, really. Yeah. We're just making sure the hands stay ahead. That's it. Hit down on the ball. So as Andy was saying, that left hip's clearing. It's not turning with immense power. It's just moving out of the way yeah. so that the arms body can turn through. Good strike, good strike. And what Andy's also feeling is that once he's hit that strike is he feels the shaft vibrating slightly at the back. That's normal. As long as it's not hitting the body we know we're in a good position. How's it feeling? Pretty consistent. Isn't it? it is. Nice little grouping of golf balls. Three. 
like it. Within half a meter of each other. So guys, definitely go out and give this a try. If you've got an alignment stick, it's probably a little bit easy because it is thinner. Also, use a kind of a mid to long iron or mid iron, especially just try and use it if you don't have an alignment stick. You will find it a little bit more difficult, obviously, because you're going to be gripping kind of grip on grip. But the most important thing with this is just making sure you get the right teddy. You don't want them hands flicking through impact. In, this is for those really short chip shots in and around the green, keep control, and it's especially great for we're coming out of the rough as well, so we're going to be hitting down on the ball, nice and steeper angle of attack yeah. as well. Guys, if you've liked that, give it a thumbs up, write some comments below. Also check us out on our social media platforms, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. If you haven't subscribed, do so. Click the button, click the bell. That'll give you, activate your notifications. And we'll see you again soon.